Hello, this is Tanya Bolden, and I'm here to share with you a bit about my latest book, Changing the Equation, 50 Plus U.S. Black Women in STEM. Changing the Equation is a celebration of black women's contributions to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics from the 19th century up to the present. In these lively bios and snapshots, readers will meet a chemical engineer, a biomedical engineer, a marine biologist, an astronomer, astrobiologist, geneticist, cybersecurity professional, computer scientists, inventors, and more. The subjects include Rebecca Crumpler. She earned her medical degree from Boston's New England Female Medical College in 1864, the year before slavery was abolished in America. This was four years before Black people had citizenship. This was six years before Black men had the right to vote before black men had the right to the national vote, and 56 years before America's women had that right too. There's also Yvonne Young Clark. She became a mechanical engineer in the 1950s when most folks thought girls shouldn't be in a field where they'd get their hands dirty. Among other things, Yvonne designed the special containers in which the Apollo 11 crew brought moon rocks back to the earth. There's also Ayanna Howard at Georgia Tech, a roboticist. She has used her extraordinary brain power to design robots that can assist children with special needs. Why changing the equation? Because when the subject is STEM, the names and faces of black women don't come to most people's minds. So I wanted to bring this hidden history into wider view. Role models. STEM is where some of the best jobs are. STEM is where many of the best jobs will be in the future. So with changing the equation, I sought not only to educate, but to inspire young people, especially girls of color, to chart courses for careers in STEM. Thank you. Be well.